Ladies and gentlemen, today we get to celebrate the 50th anniversary and it is one in a series of events that we will go through this year to celebrate 50 years of this institution. Uh, and I'll tell you, I'm excited about a 50 year old university because it is just mature enough to become that next thing. We're going to spend an awful lot of time this year celebrating what comes next as well. We have a lot of people to thank to celebrate what this mural has become, and it has become something over the last few weeks. The mural stands for, it's a, a point of pride, and there's a lot of people behind that, that pride. We have 30,000 alumni, 6,000 current students, more than 1,000 faculty and staff, all celebrating what this university is supposed to be for the upstate of South Carolina. And when all of those people get excited about their university, great things happen. I'd like to thank a few people who've helped make this mural come to life. Russell Bannon and Eli Blasco are the artists that designed and painted it. Where are you gentlemen? Please. You may have seen them. The backs of their necks have sunburns from the last few weeks. Uh, Russell is a graduate of UC, USC Upstate and his mother, Laura, is teaching biology for us. If you wondered where talent is created in Spartanburg, it's at our university. Jason Hiltabittle owns the Gallery East and he's allowed us to put the mural on the side of his building. I hope when we started this project you questioned that and now all of those questions are answered with the beautiful product of it. And thank you for providing us that opportunity. It's okay to applaud that effort. <laughs> Steve Fincher from Fincher Photography. Where are you, Steve? Steve is smartly standing over in the shade. He captured the three weeks that it took. If you look inside or you've seen online, the time-lapse camera that recorded the creation of this mural, that was Steve's innovation. And I have to tell you, the night that they started, I came up because I wanted to see the mural start going up and Steve shared with me that he took a camera and put it into the flower box over on, <laughs> over on that building so that people wouldn't steal it. I say that only so that all of you will start checking flower boxes for expensive <laughs> photography equipment. <laughs> Rob Thomas and John Williams uh, from our university uh, had created the capacity for the live streaming of the mural being painted Wild Birds Unlimited allowed us to house our cameras in the building and Brandy Dice of the Art Lounge shared her parking lot during the mural painting. There are an awful lot of people that come together to make something like this happen. But at the end of the day, this mural represents an awful lot of people who have come together to make this university. And that's what we get to celebrate today and for the rest of this year. And I have to tell you, I came by here on Sunday. I pulled into the parking lot with the lovely Dr. Kelly. And we were looking at the mural for a moment. We had some people with us, wanted to share this great work. And then a Ford Mustang pulls quickly into the parking lot and parks right in front of the mural. Man gets out and he starts clearing away trash, making it look really pretty. And I thought, that is citizenship. That is somebody that doesn't want this university to look bad ever. We came by about 10 minutes later. He's got that Ford Mustang, newly washed, sitting in front of this mural, and he is across the street taking pictures of it. <laughs> now that, ladies and gentlemen, is when you know you have arrived as a university. So if we can have, uh, Tammy, I know we brought a number of people together so that they can come up and, and share with us in uh, cutting the ribbon. I would love the artists to join us. Durham Cole is here, one of our great leaders in Spartanburg, South Carolina. One, two, three. Oh. 